This ain't Texas. Woo! All right, baby. Welcome back to the Homies Assemble podcast. We cannot be doing this without the homies, so therefore let us summon the... Oh, look at that. We got something in the budget. No, we borrowed this from the homie. Let's do it one more time. Woo! All right. Hey. That worked? Whoa. Where's yours? Where are you? Right here. Oh, damn. Nice. You know what? He got pinche Tommy. Oh, it's Tomas. El Tomas. Pinche Tomas. Mira nomás. R.I.P. R.I.P. And give us a little bit of that Power Rangers dubs that we all see. Soy el Tommy, el oh. del Oreo dub de México. Oh, Tomás. <laughs> Dude, I, I've seen those. I've seen those, man. Soy give us a little preview, little preview. <laughs> give, give us some, like, fighting moves. Like, some you know, fighting, like, fighting, some, fighting. Some tagline. Yeah. And el micrófono, güey. El micrófono. No es que no veo. Okay. Tomás, ahí está, güey. Pinche risa. Ahí te veo. Te voy a chingar a tu reputa madre. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, well, I'm going to crack open a chelita, so unless you want to get down on some chelitas, bro. Ya quítate la, güey, porque ahora sí you're beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful eyes, güey. Ay. Ay. Oh, it was Alex the whole time. There he is. Oh, Tommy. Dude. There he is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. So here we are, guys. Another episode. Welcome back, guys. We're Welcome actually back, doing bro. it. We're being uh, somewhat consistent. Chelita, 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 chelita. Oh, chelita, let's do claro, it. Yeah, claro, hijo, yeah. claro. Mira. Uh, mm, mm. That's for you? We're pretending, but this is actually Mijito's uh, number three. Yeah, fucking. Oh. Number, number he, he one for us. He couldn't wait, dude. He couldn't he wait. Couldn't crack at it. Yeah, yeah. He was just like, ah, so the chelas are right there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Estaban heladas, and I was just like, you know. When they're You're sweating. You're When they're sweating. Okay. Cheers, guys. Oh, you got this cool trick, dude. Nice. Cheers. 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 Hey, bro, Apple, I feel like after like the long drive that we have to, we, 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 I was trying to like make it here all clean, oh, yeah. but I got a couple stains on me, so don't, don't judge me, guys. Well, you're, you're not going to be more sudoso than this fool over here. Fucking Tommy. El pinche oh, Tommy. Yeah. I'm good. I just couldn't breathe. She was hard. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, uh, Andy, shout outs to you for uh, hooking shout us up with the, with the stuff. Thank you for letting Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank, thank you for and almost killing Alex. The dream, dog. Put some holes in, the, in that yeah. thing, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he uses it for something else, though. He's just like, ooh. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys are fucked up. Uh, welcome back. We were talking a little bit about our tour that we have coming up. Yeah. We have the, the yeah. tour dates if you're in SoCal. Uh, right now, we're, we're in, in Southern California, you know, touring and um, details below. So please make sure you check it out. Uh, we're releasing this in the middle of March. Some, somewhat, yeah. Sometime in March. Um, so yeah, please make sure you come out, have a good time with us. We got some funny jokes for you guys and we just want to hang out and, and share some laughs. Yeah, guys, we're doing a full on freaking tour. Are you ready for that? How are you guys? How are you guys feeling? You guys ready? Tan listos? Like yeah, but no. Yeah, oh, you know what I mean, like I feel like my set is ready. I'm just like, like I said, like we really have to push it. It's a lot of shows. Yeah, it's a lot of shows, and it's a lot of back to back shows. Shit. Like we'll it's a shit. Saturday, Sunday, and then we have a Wednesday show, mm -hmm. and then it's we do right again on the the following weekend yeah. mm -hmm. for literally the whole month. So so come out, bro. Yeah, come Mom, out if you guys can. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise, there's gonna be like three people in the audience. Yeah, dog. I, yeah. I think we can get at least four. We can get like four, five, ten family members that'll go to. Yeah, the perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom. Yeah, our first one is is Bicycle Club. Mm -hmm. uh, that one is uh, yeah, Bicycle Club. Eight. That's in. Um, Right, April 8th? Yeah, off to 710. Yeah, guys, check out the details. Uh, check out the tickets. Go check us out. It's going to be a crazy tour. What's the name of the tour? The, the Homies, Homies Assemble. Assemble Tour. Yeah. We also got a homie, uh, Martin, Martin Rizzo. Uh, a really Martin, funny man. guy. Yeah. A funny veterano. Guy. Veterano yeah, yeah. comedy. Also, we got PK, another veterano. Yeah, PK. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be uh, you know, having some guest spots, some, some other friends and homies like popping in and out. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, man. Make I sure feel, you check I it out. I feel really good. I'm sorry. I feel really good and comfortable having PK and, and Martin around. For sure. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, they're they're like veterans in the game in the in the in the comedy world, and mm -hmm. you know, we're used to doing you know comedic videos. We're used to saying cut and then like, oh, let's try that again. Yeah. But when you're up live, like, it's it. Like, you gotta you gotta make your jokes. See, mm -hmm. hope they land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if yeah, not, <man>. then <clears throat> fuck you guys. We we're just talking about that earlier. Like, like the hardest part, I think, what I found when we we're doing our sets was was whenever we did go off a little off topic or whenever we did do some crowd work, trying yeah. to get back into our sets. Mm -hmm. That that was like probably one of the hardest parts. Like just kind of remembering 
like the cues right yeah. because then like when we shoot like a script a video it's like oh where's the script oh there mm-hmm. it is okay cool 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 but when you're up there like yeah. oh mm-hmm. and I, I remember I did take my notes too I had my notes just for safety yeah but I didn't take them out but yeah like I'm uh, every show I'm gonna have them yeah just like as a safety blanket uh-huh. like I'm, you, a- I'm afraid I'm gonna I'm blank out <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying like I might go on a tangent and just be like yeah. where was I guys you and know? we're practicing too like you and I would call each other and we were just like dude I'm, I'm down to like 20 minutes from like 22 minutes yeah, you yeah, know? So yeah, we were trying yeah. to like really refine it and Shit. it's just different it's it's a difference when you're up there and you're trying to like time shit out and also fill the crowd because you want to feel like for sure you're interactive yeah, i'm looking forward for that balance of mm-hmm. having a right having your stuff written and being there and experiencing that moment that like yeah. just like you said that that's i experienced that yeah. firsthand just being stuck there being but out. you did good dude i i thought you did pretty good i thought you know peter did great i mean and like um i i remember like i missed a whole piece to one of my jokes like there yeah. was like a whole thing and it was in it was until afterwards yeah i mean yeah luckily I, I i set it up but i had like this whole other thing to like a no sabo joke that i had where mm-hmm. i'm like kind of like uh protecting them a little bit mm-hmm. i talked to the the anyways go watch it <laughs> go watch, watch me live fool. yeah so you can hear the whole thing i got you no sabos. i got you fools so dude tell us about your, your your salsas man like uh you did this whole sprouts thing a couple weeks ago yeah what man was it, like a week and a half ago <clears throat> so we're trying to get into uh you know we're doing we're doing some legwork to kind of get into some uh supermarkets out there um the origin to this is funny uh i was shooting the cholo house videos with uh with the homie alberto portillo um really talented dude and then uh, one of his neighbors came and he started helping us out on, on a few of the episodes you know some of the times that we go shoot and one day he just shows up and he goes hey man you want to take a picture with with this bottle and i was like sure what is it and i turned around and it was my face and i was like ah which is fucking weird first i was like what yeah <laughs> and so i guess it was a miscommunication because he looked at the other guy he goes you didn't tell him he was like oh. <laughs> and so dude I, if i can find the picture i'll send it to you like we ended up taking a picture and i remember like it was at the end of shooting and i was like <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. Like, what, what is this like i have no idea anyways i came back home i tried it i was like damn this is bomb mm-hmm. so we started we talked about different flavors and like doing like a sweet version and then like a mild you know so the housefood.com if you want to check it out um we're looking to get those into stores and um how long got, was that process what it was it was a it was a minute. The process was a minute. Um, maybe yeah, like man, two selling months. food, yeah. like because I used to sell salsas as well, is is yeah. no joke, man. Like it's 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 a huge process. So the fact that you you got it you got it all the way here, man, is yeah, it's a huge step, man. Because it's hard, man. Yeah. Like even down to like the labeling, like getting the the right preservatives, mm-hmm. seeing like what the that, but getting all that. It, there's uh, no preservatives testing. in it. Yeah, it's, it's all natural. What's up? Do they get tested, or do they have to go through any kind of test? Um, they they will get tested, like depending on what super st- like uh you know supermarket we get into. So like okay. they'll test it out for like if we have like non GMO, like it's all like natural, you know, like ingredients. <clears throat> what happened? Which it's all natural, right? It's all natural, bro. Cashews, chili oil, <laughs> you know, like uh, um, it's a, it's spicy. We have one with a uh, honey. But yeah, man, doing business shit like outside of like comedic stuff is is different, and it's very like. Mm-hmm. I think it's important, man. That's yeah. actually a good, good thing you bring that up because that's another thing I'm that sure. like, I, I'm really pushing right now. It's something that I've like, um, you know, before I would really push to try to make my money from this, mm-hmm. from our videos, from you know, from our creative shit. YouTube shit, yeah. But the older that I'm getting, man, the more I'm like, fuck, man, I really just want to make my money elsewhere. Only fans? OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans. Uh, right. Sign up right now at uh, uh, Only uh, uh, Three Only Toes. The, my, call me Three Toes. I got a couple of goals. It's because I got the two toes and my peepee looks kind of like a toe. So yeah. uh, follow me on OnlyFans at Three Toes. But yeah, man, I've been really thinking about like... Three Toes, Pedrito. Yeah, Pedrito. There you go. <laughs> I've been really thinking about like, you know, man, like I, I think about Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's one of my heroes, man. And Three Toes. <laughs> 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 Wait, who are you? He laughing? just got it. He just got it. Let him process it. Oh. Let him process it. Oh, you're back there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's five minutes Sorry. behind. Five, four, yeah, 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 yeah. three, two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I, I think about like Arnold Schwarzenegger, dude. And the reason why Arnold Schwarzenegger is the man that we know who he is because he became a millionaire be- before he became famous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the reason he was able to become famous the way he was because he was able to pick his roles. He was able to be like, I don't want to do this. I yeah. want to do that. That's because he had money. He didn't have to work for money. So that's the more the the older I get, the the, the more I'm seeing it like that. The more mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, there's certain projects that I don't want to do that it's just like. Oh, it's just yeah. for money it's just for this and it's like I'd rather make my money selling a salsa selling a, yeah. an oil doing something on the side and then I still want to make money doing my shit but I don't want it to to influence what I'm doing and I feel like a lot of the times like money influences the projects we're going to do yeah. right and so I, my whole mindset's been kind of on that too so yeah man I, I've been looking into like investing into some stuff completely outside of of the film and, and video and yeah 
just completely out of it. And, you know, I, I tried doing it before in the past. I tried opening a, I, I had my own production company, but that was still in this realm. So right now, man, I'm really trying to do what you're doing with like Josh or friend Josh is doing. Yeah. Just having a side product and it. using this platform to push to that side product. And that way, like, you do whatever you want. You know what? I like the way you talk and I like the way you look. Can you do me a favor? Can you sell me this chunk up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, speaking of that, guys. Welcome to our. Uh, our <laughs> we need, we're looking for sponsors. Our first sponsor is obviously is the is Eric's chili oil, um, but you know here we, we think we're put, we could we could we could fucking sell anything. Yeah. Um, so listen up. So Nike advertisers. Nike, guess you guys need a fucking dirty ass chancla. This is how this is how Nike sells them. You can't even get these new. When you buy them, they come like all dirty like this. You try ever finding a Nike chancla that's new? You can't fucking find them. No. Nike Nike chanclas. Good for all occasions, <laughs> except for no occasion. I got, I got a better pitch. You got one? You got I one? got a better pitch. I got, I got right, better pitch. Nike chanclas. Dodge this. I dare you. <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. All right. What all you right. Got? I got what one. I got one. <laughs> what you got? <clears throat> Nike chanclas. No lavases los trastes? I mean, I think that's it. I mean, okay. our, our, it's definitely 35 to 55 uh, women that are watching this podcast. <laughs> I mean, we appreciate you and we love you. Uh-oh, who's back? <laughs> Nike chaclas. Mm, it smells good, good. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Nike I got one. Yeah. I got that. I got yeah, 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 yeah. Yum, yum in my tub. <laughs> Nike chaclas. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid oh, my cheeks are hurting oh. Oh. you smell that smells like you're gonna get your ass beat Nice, nice. <laughs> Nike, Nike chanclas. Nike chanclas. See, guys? Advertisers. Spa, advertise here, guys. <laughs> this shit will sell itself, dude. Don't we, don't we just sound like money? Yeah. I hope that all gets cut out, bro. Jeez. You guys fan of boxing? Yes. Do you guys like any uh, any any boxers right now? Any so nice. Anyone that's exciting to see? That's exciting to see? Yes. That's I definitely like Tank. I think Tank is a good fighter. And um, we'll see the guy. The guy that's, uh, that was uh, Terrence Crawford. Uh, what is uh, the Japanese Yeah, Terrence fighter Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Terry- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about boxing, guys. I used to, but I don't know. I don't really follow the new... The Since new- Oscar? Since your tias were all in the Oscar? Oscar a, yeah, I think Oscar... You know, because I'm a little older, guys. So I, I still remember Tyson fights. Like, I still yeah. remember when he fucking bit... Yeah, um, fucking, Holyfield. Holyfield yeah. ear, dude. They're like buddies now. Yeah. The homies. <laughs> yeah, I we still remember one that. One by Tyson for the next one. Hey, Kyle, fool. Hey, Kyle, wey. Kyle, we'll fucking spar. <laughs> <laughs> Peter sparring, fuck. <laughs> Why, what fight's coming up right now? Well, I know there's one with um, Ryan Garcia. He's a he's another uh, talk right now. Uh, I shot something with him like years ago. Um you know, who's a youngin, right? Youngin. Well, still youngin um, I remember like, oh man, this this kid's like gonna blow up, blow up, mm-hmm. and then um, yeah, he did super fast. Mm-hmm. He's he. he fought that, that the, the light skin guy that we saw, we met at uh, we met him at a soccer game one time. Is that you talking about? It's a light skin guy? Like he's not like really light like, skin guy. I remember, I remember. There's this guy, bro, this light skin Mexican guy, and we met him at a soccer game, and he uh, and and uh, I don't know who he was, no idea, and uh, he looked he looked like a white guy. So I was like, hey, primo, and yeah, like, yeah. hey, primo, and I like tr- I saw him like like maybe like a week later, like uh-huh. a big ass fight, like a pay per view fight. Oh shit! Yeah, What's you that? know him, you know him too. I don't know his name. You know him. Canelo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. <laughs> oh, sí, el Canelo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, nah, I don't know who you're talking. Come on, bro. Uh. Speaking of 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 fighting, Mijito, when the fuck are you gonna fucking play Call of Duty with us, bro? I've been playing for on like just I think the server gets fucked up. We play on different servers. Pinche mentiroso, we've been trying level, to fight this for. Pinche mentiroso. I think oh, my it. level of play doesn't allow me to play with you guys because I think you guys have to play. Fuck you, wait. You're so ranked. You're ranked. Rank fuck you, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm fucking bad because this fucking asshole's been leaving me hanging. I was gonna. I told him like, "Hey, fool, I'll buy you the game." It was on sale, no. Valentine's Day sale. No. I was like, "Mijo, you're my Valentine's." <laughs> Let me get you this game. That's He's like, nah, I'm good. I'll get it. Yeah. Did you get it? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it this week. Did you get, get it? No, I, I've been having it. Dios te va a castigar por mentiroso. Been having it, dog. <laughs> For real, I just been like, every time that I'm on there, no son. I'm ah, la verga, no los voy a esperar. A qué hora, wey? What time you be getting on, then? dude? Like. Psh. 
como las fuck a tal hora, güey. Fuck, y no están estos güeyes. I, I don't play, pues fuck, pues no están mis canales. En, me agüito, güey. No, nah, pues ya lo juego yo. Pues, ya no juego. ¿Canales o canales? Why'd you turn it to a... Yeah, why'd you turn it to your dad, güey? Bueno, trying to get out of a situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking drunk tío. Fucking at a, at so, a backyard party. So me and Eric have like beautiful bonding moments mm -hmm. in uh, Call nice. of Duty. Yeah. And we keep telling Mijito to join us. And uh, puro pinche no. <laughs> puro pinche fuck you. Puro pinche chen. fuck you. Me van a ser puro chenk a mí. Bro, you're good, bro. We're the duck squad. Before, We're the before, freaking duck squad, before bro. Peter and I would get on. Well, you and I used to play, dude. We used to play at the, the fucking zombies, zombies at the ranch. What was it? The uh, On the bus. The, I used to play with ranch. you guys, yeah. too. Yeah, the farm. Yeah, the, farm. yeah, the ranch. The farm. <laughs> yeah, there's a ranch in there. The farm. <laughs> I'm not even on the mic. Um, but yeah, no, dude, we had some good times playing those games, too, but yeah. like... Bro, now now it's like next level, and we're always playing, and we're always inviting this fool. And bro, the story nunca viene. It's like my dad. Alright, we're back. Rayando el sol. Oh, eh, oh. Tacos for you. Okay. Uh, welcome back. We uh, <laughs> oh, <hell. laughs> we we had to stop because Alex needed another fucking beer. Could you? Ah, uh, don't blame it on me. I just I snuck this on here. <laughs> bien, bien, bien para tomar el. Bien pedo, fui Mira, bien pedo. Y luego, no, luego la cosa, güey, bien, bien chingo para tomar, güey. Sí, pero para el Call of Duty. No, ah, puro pinche más. fuck you todos. Nothing, más, cabrón. Bro. Soy Nothing. el más, no. Pero hablamos, ¿quieres una chela y una beer? No, soy el más chingón. Por eso no me dejan jugar con los demás. Porque, you know, everybody else would be like, damn, I suck at Mito, can I buy you the fucking game so we can play? Please. Huh? I already have it. Get the fuck out of here, already bro. I already have it, dude. So you haven't, you're telling me you haven't, you haven't played it yet? No, I have it and I've been playing it, but you yeah, got to be. <laughs> you know what you know? Fuck, that's hey, so funny. Hey, I love that bit. You know how I know he's Oh. Porque aquí se le sale la venita aquí, güey, right here. Okay. Oh, Every yeah. time he's lying, yeah, it comes bro. out, way. No, way, porque la tengo dura. <laughs> it's a dick shape. No, it's a dick shape vein. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm talking about dick shape vein. When this vein pops up, it's a whole different story, bro. No, I'm talking about this one. It's the vein feeding it. Bro. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. I see, I see. No, it's, it's, it's communicating. No wonder when, when you lie to Mijito, he, he gets an erection. <laughs> oh, makes sense. <laughs> it's, it's it makes sense. He but... can't even take a step forward, he gets stuck. He... <laughs> Like a tripod, bro. This is a different fucking, uh, como se dice body part. Okay. Oh, man. Um, so we asked people questions again on uh, Instagram. Oh, yeah. We could uh, get into that. We can ask, ask, oh. ask, ask, ask. Do yeah. it. Um, I think it's a good one. What is one of your biggest accomplishments in vida life? Ooh, that's a tough one. Damn. I have... Mis hijos. Um, mis hijos. Oh, nice. Mis yeah. hijos. Le <laughs> Easy. I mean, I mean, I'm kidding, definitely, I'm it's it's nice, you know. You uh, gotta say, just get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, kids. also my Did kids. Did you see how cute those kids yeah. are, dog? Have you seen this face? That's a yeah. big ass accomplishment, dog. Yeah. That's a good job, fool. Yeah. Hell yeah, I got some cute ass kids, dog. Do you think I expected to have cute ass kids? Hell no, fool. That was a shark in like the abyss. You were a little nah, cute. Nah, you're cute. You're yeah. cute ass, fool. Why would you question oh, well, well, thank you, bitch. But still, <laughs> yeah. I love those kids. Uh, but Besides my kids, um, the, I did a, um, um, I became a wrestler, like a little luchador. Uh, that was dope. Thing for a while. I was so proud of you for that, dude. Um, that we got to show that, that picture. We got to show the picture. I have it somewhere. There's That's a crazy. photo, bro. I, I jump out of the ring into one of like the, the bad guys <laughs> yeah, and uh, you see Peter in the distance. I'm, I'm up in the air. I'm flying towards this guy and I'm, I'm like, Atlanta, and Peter's in the back like this in the audience like. Like legit no. into it, cause no like joke. Like a little kid, dude, on Christmas. No, I was so proud of you, dude. I'm 64. I'm so proud, cause here's yeah. the thing, man. Like, we it's hard to impress each other, cause we, we're all in each other's lives. We all kind of do the same thing, so it's kind of hard, you know. We're all talented in our own ways, but seeing Eric do that shit was something that I'm like completely out of his comfort zone. Completely, never thought rib? in a million years. A fractured rib, yeah. Fractured rib, dude. And I was so into it, bro. I was so I was like yelling in the crowd. I was like, he was so good. What dude. was the your your the your the name of the person? El, that I was the guy. You were the guy. Was, uh, uh, I don't know, dude. Fuck, whatever his name was. Noir, el, el, el masquero. I was like, yeah. el masquero no el le gallo, gusta la... El gallo... Uh... 
Something with the guy, you already. No, he was the guy. I was guy. I was guy. Oh, you were. But bro, I was talking mad shit, bro. I was like, el masquero no le gusta la verga. Al masquero le encanta la verga. Woo! It was hilarious, dude. Bro, such a good time. There was an old lady behind me, bro, that was loving it, dude, like cracking it. She was like, like gassing me. You guys were saying the same shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Off each other like so we'll pop up that picture. I think I have it. I think I'll be able to find it. It's a good photo. Yeah, good picture. Eric's like in the in the air, and I'm like, I love the tias that go to fucking. Bro, I they know they're so it, funny. They really get into Growing it. Growing up, so I'll go to TJ. My uncles would take me to like to the auditorio on TJ. We'd always see the luchas, bro. Mm -hmm. There'd always be those tias. Yeah, oh, bro, it's the best. La chupa, like, yeah, ooh, dude. Fuck, senora. The best, bro. They get into it, man. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was like a like a good. Uh, three months training, you know, uh, the the cardio is crazy for that shit. Like, even though, like, you know, you have a whole entire thing you block out and how the fight scene is going to go, basically, with you and the other guy. Mm -hmm. um, you're just training and training. And you have to learn how to, like, take a fall. You have to learn how to get a fucking, like, chest lap. And um, the thing I was the most scared about is, like, getting on top on the ropes and yeah. then doing, like, the little scissor kick. Yeah. So I was learning all these things, dude. And they're like, don't worry, bro. Like, well, so much fun. you know, it's it was it was fun, bro. So doing it all, hearing the crowd, hearing fucking Peter, you know, like yell out there like a like a tia, a very proud tia. Bro, I was so proud. Dude, I was and, so proud. <laughs> and at the end, like I raised my hand and I'm all like excited. And there was like little kids, like they were like, Hey, I was like, Yeah, of course, dude. I put the mask back claro. on. Yeah. So you never, nice. you're never supposed to take your mask off. Oops. Oops. No, la cagaste, Oops. wey. La cagaste. He just <laughs> disrespected. <laughs> fucking Disrespected so many. Nah, Ooh. but uh, yeah, dude, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. That that's that's something I can off the top think. Yeah, that's I'm fun. pretty. That's for Flama, right? Flama. Yeah, Flama, which used to be uh, with uh, Univision. Yeah, Lucha Libre. That's probably one of my my. Well, it's up there, yeah, yeah, as accomplishments. And, you know, as uh, Alex mentioned, I, I did break my 11th posterior rib. Uh, so I was out for like a couple of weeks, but then I was like, fuck that. I'm getting back in there, doctor. He's like, don't do it, fool. I yeah. said, like, fuck you, fool. And then I fucking choke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, stole cold stunner, fool. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Damn. What was your finisher, dog? Uh, it was just beeping the face, fool. Oh, oh shit. Man. Remember uh, Rafiki? Or wasn't T T Tafiki to El, El Nalgon from uh, WWE? Oh, Rakishi. Rakishi, yeah. <laughs> but I, I would do the Rapipi. <laughs> well, what was weird too is the doctor had his mouth open the whole time. He was like, ah. <laughs> like, God damn, bro. Yeah, I, I, I want to introduce you to my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Dr. Payne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you? Great Scott oh, Plus Oh, Great Scott. Ah, dude, that's a tough one, man, because I feel like I have multiple ones. Damn. You know, baller life, baller life, baller life. <laughs> do you do you want this? Fool? Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me turn it off. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> fuck. Hey, it's bro. Like, that shit is pointy as fuck. That was an impulsive. That broke a rib, bro. That was an impulsive <laughs> thought right there. Just it was, it was heavier than I thought, so when I pushed it, I was like, oh. <laughs> It just fell in. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You got between the ribs, bro. And that's what it felt like to break your ribs, dude. Thank you for demonstrating. Thank you for demonstrating. Hope is liver, Liver? Liver's on the... Yeah, it's liver right there. I would probably say greatest accomplishment in the last five years is probably starting my production company. Just because... Compa, Compe, Compe. Compe, which that's what started. It, it's a whole different name now. Just because everything went wrong. Mm. And I learned so much. I failed upward. That's the way I always tell people. Like, like I started this business and everything that you could imagine that could go wrong went wrong. Mm. And I was still able to make it a successful business. You know, like our last client was Adobe huge client mm -hmm. you know so i think that was one of my biggest accomplishments in the last like five years just because i think all odds were against us you know then covid hit you mm -hmm. know in the middle of our like two years into our company so yeah i would say that just yeah. because you know most businesses fail in two years and you know we but we've been around now for five six years yeah so I like that accomplishment, but I think one of your biggest ones, dude, would have to be this feature film we all shot together known as High School Sucks the Musical. Yeah, I think that's honestly probably one of our biggest accomplishments mm -hmm. because we were so young, you know, to have a, early 20s. a, a movie deal in our early 20s. Yeah. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. I thought that was really impressive, man. Like you were able to to get the the whole band together, not only the band, but like 
all the homies from like high school were in this film, like all of our friends, you know, our peers. And, and so it was massive we amounts dude, of people. It was a lot. Yeah, it was 120 out. extras on the first, mm-hmm. first week. Yeah. <laughs> dude, Long Beach, we shot it in Long Beach, right? Like, most Long, of it, like Beach. Long Beach College. What was it? It was, uh, what was it, babe? The Co- Nimitz? It was at high school. Long Beach City College, which doesn't, it doesn't exist it's anymore. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. What is it now? It's like a whole, dude, they tore it down. Uh, and they built like a brand new building. Like we were lucky enough that it used to be a that's college. That's for part two. It used to be a junior high and then it got converted to a college. So they still had all the lockers. It looked like a, like a high school. But now, bro, it looks, doesn't look like anything. Like that movie, what's cool about it? Like it's, it's stuck in time. Like we, we shot something in time that's not there anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool, man. Like I'm super proud of it, man. And like, I talk about this too. Like So much for the reshoots, right? Yeah, right. Doing I met Carla during that. You know, mm-hmm. I met my wife during that that shoe. I got so many crazy opportunities because of that shoe. I, I feel like I learned how to become a filmmaker because of that shoe. I learned how to work with you guys because it was tough, man. Like, yeah, like it. it we definitely, had some differences too. Like, we definitely, you know. like it. It, it definitely f- messed with our relationship a little bit because it was a, it was a stressful movie and it was yeah. super low budget. Mm-hmm. Nobody was really getting paid. It was just like, and so it, it got stressful, man. It got kind of like you know, you people have different opinions and and yeah. and. and and we're all kind of learning, figuring shit out. So I I, I always talk this about I talk about it all the time, man. But the fact that our friendship, me, you, Tim, all of us survived that movie, dude, yeah. is crazy. Cause it was tough, man. It was like 40 days of shooting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, that was crazy, a lot. man. Was a lot, it was man. it was a lot. It was a lot. Late hours too, man. Super we were just late like, hours. Yeah, I yeah. The, the late Remember the party? The party. The party we scene. Like we're shooting till like five, four, six yeah. in the morning. Yeah, that was a good scene, man. I like that scene. Yeah, it was a funny dude. Scene. The whole movie's fucking great, dude. Like Eric's the lead in it. <clears throat> Mijito's the lead uh, villain in it, yeah. and it's like the music is great. We got great producers to make the music. We got yeah. like Grammy nominated producers to make our music. Mm-hmm. It was crazy, man. It just sucks because the movie right now is in limbo. Like it's done. People, people, for those who don't know, the movie's done. This is a question we get asked, by the way, like cannot, all the time. Peter's like, cannot be released. Where's the High School Sex and Musical? Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't own it, guys. We don't own the rights. And, and the movie costs a lot of money. The movie costs over $100,000 to make. Mm. Um, and so it's going to cost us over $100,000 to buy it back. Mm. And So if there's any investors out there. Yeah. But that's the thing, man. Like sucks, we, man. we talked about it. We've been trying to kind of talk to the owner and be like, hey, man, we could, we could give you fucking, we'll give you 50, you know? Mm. We're trying to figure out like what to do, but we're not getting any answers from the guy who actually owns it. So you know who you fucking are. Yeah, give you, us our movie back. We want our movie back, bro. Because mm-hmm. it's done. It's funny. Every single test screen that we've had fucking killed, bro. That's the thing, bro. It's like we've test screened it in Long Beach. We've test screened it out in, um, what was uh, Carlin's spot over in- uh, It was in- uh, in the in uh, Rancho Cucum was in Rancho no 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 no, no. it was in um, Palm, Palm Springs Palm Springs Palm Springs yeah, 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 Palm, yeah. Springs. Palm Springs or Palm yeah by Coachella. Coachella yeah by Coachella area Coachella. and yeah we tested it out there a few years back and like people loved it man but can we talk about that real quick I, I, yeah, I, we talked sure. about this on another podcast but we could talk about it right now I, that was honestly I, talking about greatest accomplishment the, I wouldn't say that was one of my greatest but that was one of my greatest moments was when we showed our musical to Carlin's Carlin's, uh, yeah, Carlin's class. Teacher. So we had a, um, we all met in, in drama, in drama class. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had a drama teacher named Mr. Carlin. And uh, we all did his musical together. Did, were you in the musical way? You weren't part of it, no? Any of the musicals? No. Yeah, I was behind like, the scenes. Every for high school, wanted, like in high school, high school we yeah. No, I got pussy, bro. So oh, man. See, that's the thing too, bro. I really wanted to be in it. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, the <laughs> drama kids got more pussy than anybody else. What are you talking about, dude? I'm just kidding, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that is <laughs> true. That's 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 I, yeah, I can't. Yeah, that room is nasty. Our school was different. <laughs> yeah. That room was nasty. No, that's the thing, bro. Like, our school was different. Like, the Other drama kids, kids were relate. more popular than yeah. the fucking yeah. jocks. We had a We had a crappy. God bless his soul. If he only knew what happened on that couch. Don't tell him. Don't tell yeah. him. Don't tell him. But anyways, dude, I really felt good because we used to show our movies in Mr. Carlin's class, like our short films. We used to show them in, in a little theater. And I think going full circle and able to show our movie, uh, not only a movie, but a musical to his class yeah. just felt so good, man. Yeah. Even him, he was so happy it's like that a day. proud dad. Yeah, yeah, he was so proud. He's like, man, he you guys are so giving me happy. street cred. Oh my God, you guys are making me look so good. Yeah. And like, dude, honestly, man, like Mr. Harlan passed away a couple years back and like yeah. that really to me felt like so good because he was so happy, bro. Yeah. He, he, It was like his kids his made it. His birthday recently passed and I think I got, um, mm. I recently got a memory from Facebook Facebook where he sent to me a message when my son was born and he said uh look at you god bless you and thank you for you know blessing us with this beautiful child oh man just this beautiful you know how yeah Carlin was he used to write words, me some bro. beautiful shit yeah, too, yeah, yeah. Uh, i just uh, 
great, great teacher. So yeah. I mean, rest in peace. But it was it was such a great feeling to show something we all worked on together, uh, with with him knowing that, that he helped with like the yeah. fundamentals of our yeah, acting bro, and for our, sure. He our put improv. us all together. He was like the glue that put us all together, man. Yeah, yeah. bro. We were and so it just it was a proud moment. It felt like you know he was very proud of us, and it was just kind of like like I said, it was like showing it to like your dad or something. Yeah, whatever that feels like. <laughs> <Yeah>. No, no. <laughs> All right, so we uh, lost we lost Eric again. He's on his cry break. <laughs> Willis, put the video on. Let's put the video so you can be happy. Man. <laughs> We're fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what, man? Um, I remember we we talked about this on on on, on Tim's podcast. Yeah. And I remember one of the comments that I read that really like just resonated with me was someone. I was a teacher, and he put. I really love how you guys talk about your teacher. Like, this is the goal for all our teachers to mm. be this close to our students. Mm. And yeah, man, I felt really close to Carlin, you Beautiful. know, like, just because, man, he, he was one of the first people to just kind of like, just it to kind of push us. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. could do it. You could do it. Don't worry about it. Just do it. Like, he just like, like. He gave us that stage before there was a stage, man. Exactly, man. He was one of our first fans before <laughs> anybody gave a shit, you know. So, Carlin, wherever you are, man. Um, we love you. Yeah, we love you, man. Like, for reals. Settle. 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 Cheers, Cheers. 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 I got uh, a little love here. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, man. Um, you want to do another question? Yeah, let's get into another question. Are we crying? Were you guys making YouTube videos before you made High School Musical stuff? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, so what? that was another thing that was kind of crazy when we're making High School Sucks. Oh, yeah. at 2008, right? 2008, 2010, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that everybody was kind of getting famous in their own right, which kind of made it a little bit Chola harder. Chola was blowing up around there. Yeah, Chola Ventures was blowing up. Tim was blowing up. I, I kind of took a step back. Um, but yeah, man, that, that's what kind of made it difficult too was because everybody's egos were kind of like, the for the first time, everybody was just blowing up. And of yeah, course, um, when you're first blowing up, fucking present company included, your egos is kind of out of check, right? Mm -hmm. And I felt like that kind of, fuck shit up because here I am yelling at these guys hey you gotta fucking do this and they're fucking blowing up you guys are blowing up mm -hmm. so it's you know that dynamic kind of kind of made shit a little difficult interesting but, yeah but dude the movie's great like the movie's fucking great I remember taking like, it very seriously at, the, at that time I was ready I was so fucking ready I had prepared I was three months you were before. great man everybody was, you too man yeah. you too everybody man I was at that time I was going through acting classes and I, I, I wanted to prove something and I took it seriously because it was like the villain role and, and um uh, Man. Alex's role was like a, a overprotective, like over his big like brother, younger, yeah. big brother, sister, oh. and then like, yeah, my, my character was like mm -hmm. into his sister. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we. I mean, it was a it was a good script, really, really dude, good. Dude, so yeah. funny. Like, like one thing I have to say when we did the screenings, dude, is that people were laughing so fucking hard that they would miss other jokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, and it threw me off. I was mm -hmm. like, what the fuck? Like when we screened it in Long Beach, oh my yeah, God, it was good, dude. Man. It was, people were It laughing. was one of those moments where we're, we're sitting in, in the crowd and like everyone's like behind us and yeah. they're laughing. Like, <laughs> You're like, oh my God. They think it's funny. Even shit, what I didn't even think was going to hit, bro. It was my hitting. Parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, dude, there's one part in the movie that I'm like, I hope it hits. I hope it hits. And it hit. And it's it's an improv that you did. And it, it's like, you just went up to, up to uh, Daisy. That was the name of Daisy, the, yeah. the character and you're just like and you just take one of her hairs <laughs> <I forgot. laughs> dude it was and you did it you surprised her so even her was like like i told her okay dude go hit on her but just do the most awkward shit you can do right and so he's like hitting on her and he's like hi and he goes Bing! and he pulls her hair and he just takes off dude and i added like a little sound effect so it goes Bro, bro, that the clip. Part, bro, the clip. That part of, to me was one of the funniest things. Uh, I, but when I showed fun. it to the audience and it hit, I was like, yeah. "Yes, Ricky Tango." Yes, R uh, Ricky, uh, Ricky Tango, something. Kiki Kong. Yeah, we had that. him as a, as a Hawaiian kid because yeah. I like Hawaiian. I guess <laughs> we just needed someone who wasn't Latino. Like I wanted uh, him to play someone who wasn't. Uh, some. I think you were half ambiguous I look. I don't know. Yeah. Um. I feel like this is a good question because it's a uh, modern times. Like today, like the music we used to listen to back then, whether it be English or Spanish, today's music. Um. Someone's asking, do you like today's new age of Hispanic music? So a lot of like the tumbao <laughs> type of you know, what is it like? Um. Oh, thanks, man. <sighs> oh, shaking, shaking, shaking. Yeah, we can't come no, on. I'm good. I'll, I'll wait till we're done. I'll wait till we're done. Like the the peso plumas okay. or a lot of the um um the what's the the, the fuerza regi tacos. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Mm. 
um, so you know, new music. Uh, uh, you know, man. Yeah. I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I worked with. Uh, Firme. I worked with Voce Mando. I worked with uh, Fantasma. I worked with all these like Norte Corrido bands, and it was like music that I wasn't really into, and it was like a world that I didn't really know. Yeah. But I like it, man. Yeah, it's sick. And they're freaking. It's crazy how popular these guys are. Like you were talking about how crazy, like they'll put out a video and it's like yeah. 200, 300 million. Like what the fuck? Like killing American artists. Yeah. Like, I'm just glad there's finally a wave on the mainstream. Yeah, for American sure. I think, it's, finally, I think it's been there, dude, but it's... it's it's Not really. Dog. Well, here's the thing, right? So when it comes to like Norte Cruz, this is what I heard. A lot of the music was banned. Mm. You couldn't put it on the radio, mm. right? So a lot of people would tune into YouTube to oh. play the music. So that's why it has so many fucking views. So I mm. think there's been a movement but now you like I think you're right. It has become more like, mainstream, but I think it's always been there. Yeah, like you know, nineties Selena, all right, was had yeah. mainstream, right? I kind of felt like back then it was more like, all right, one Mexican, that's enough. That's enough Mexicans. Yeah. And now I kind of feel like, like radio. Like, how stuff? many yeah. Mexicans? How many Mex? How many more Mexicans can we use? I kind of feel that's where we're at today. And I'm I'm, I'm big upset, even if like their music may not be good or not. <clears throat> I also, but I also think it's like it's just the right time right now. Mm. You know, you think about all the second, third, fourth, fifth generation. That's why I'm uh, just Mexican glad there's kids that like grew up, yeah. And so like us, we understand it. We can be like, oh man, this is like really tight. Like how they get down on the fucking bass and the, on the guitars and like mm-hmm. dun, 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 dun. like that's that shit's tight. And then the yeah. voice, the voice is, is different, right? Like I'm like, oh okay, all right, shit. And they're youngins. And they're yeah, all youngins. The, the youngins. Yeah, yeah, bro, they're all youngins with the same fucking haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Change your but, fucking uh, hairstyles, guys. I like it. <laughs> you know, I fuck with it. No, I like it too. I like it too. The haircut. Yeah. The haircut and the music. <laughs> <There>. <laughs> Little half Edgar mullet, something, whatever it is. But uh, there's a kid right now. He's blowing. He's blowing up. It's a Javi, and he's like a young little braces kid. And he's just he's got like La, La Diabla. Like he's got all these songs out. Attaboy. And he's killing it, bro. I can't help but be like, fuck yeah, you know. Yeah. Like the representation is yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Um, just glad there's a now. Way, now, now we got to start our own band. Is what I'm saying. Orale. We have what's what's the name of our band? The name of our band. We're there already. Um, <laughs> oh, we did a parody to that shit. By the way, we're there. Though. And uh, last year, we're like parodies were <laughs> fucking since when, when were they popular? 2009. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Let's just do it. Oh. And uh, I, I hit up Alex, and I was like, Alex, you know, because Alex is a really good like songwriter. Oh. I was like, dude, if we did, if we did this, you know, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> this this one's hitting me. <laughs> um, I immediately was like, dude, can you write something on this? He goes, I got you, dude. And yeah, within like a week, he had something. And I was like, nice. He goes, this is what you're going to sing. And then uh, I used Josh as Bad Bunny. He goes, this is what Josh is going to sing. He's like, let's get it. Yeah, that was fun. It was fun. Yeah, and, video. It was fun. and we got a good, you know, 4,000 views on it. And we're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Welcome to 2023. Yeah. Yeah. When we released it. Los Tigres de Paramount. That's our name right there. But Los Bookies all day, homie. That was a very humbling experience, right? Like our, our period when we came back. We, we know how when you had your kids, we had a period where we kind of stopped. Yeah. Oh, and man, that's a good topic. We, yeah, we came back on it and like the views were just like. To get comments where people were like, it's like, damn, I used to watch you guys' videos. Like, and your, your guys' shit used to like really hit. And, and now you guys barely get any views. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's to, everybody to though. That, I was like, that's everybody. I was like, yeah, we, we were off. We're, we're out of the scene for a minute, man. Yeah, but that was a huge. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, but dude, that's everybody. That's, it's, it's, it's not only, it's not just your audience change. It's YouTube changed. It's mm. completely different, man. Like, yeah. look stop- at, I'm sorry. Look at how nice that is for Peter to say that though, yeah. dude. Like, like where we were like, kind of like, oh, fuck. And then Peter's just kind of like, yeah, but dude, like that happens. Like, <laughs> no, but that's the truth though because like you think that's why i love peter is what i'm saying you think about like okay. the the most subscribed <laughs> We're gonna like people you. right now right you you like say someone that has 10 million subscribers their videos average 800 900 000. like yeah. everybody's getting that hit and it, there's a lot of factors to it but one of the biggest factors is dude people are subscribed now to hundreds of people mm-hmm. yeah you know there's what a I'm lot saying? more it's, it's yeah, more saturated so it's like it's it's extremely saturated so your video doesn't even pop up in the front anymore when mm-hmm. before that's why it's good to have um uh, the like less it, people on less people no it's it's good to have a schedule that way people don't it doesn't the have to pop up consistency yeah, is like a, super key that way people could just okay every Monday they're gonna put a new video up let me yeah. just check this shit on Monday I don't even mm-hmm. have to it doesn't have to pop up you know like my favorite people that I watch on YouTube I don't even they don't even pop up I, oh it's Monday yeah they're gonna put a new video up right just go to their page so I think that's a, one of the biggest factors because mm-hmm. I think everybody's feeling it dude mm-hmm. everybody's sure. feeling the hit yeah dude I have 300,000 yeah. subs on my YouTube and my videos average 
three thousand views, four thousand views. Like yeah, I have three hundred thousand yeah. subs. Like what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's it's the algorithm, man. Mm -hmm. And that's that goes back to what I was saying earlier. Like that's another reason why too. Okay, like things, yeah. Like it, it's kind of it's kind of depressing sometimes, bro. We work so fucking hard on these videos, yeah. spend all this money, spend all this fucking time, and then we put it up, and it's like. No one gives a shit. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll at the same time we'll do a video where we're literally taking a shit and a million fucking million views. views. Like, what? Yeah, it's like what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> so it's hard, man. It's hard to like figure out where where you want to put your time on, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So check out my OnlyFans, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, but what was it? Petr These, uh, <laughs> Petros? Uh, no, no, it's that three toed. Three toed? Three toed Pito yeah, Pedro. <laughs> it's because I have this weird condition where like my pee pee grows like a toenail. Three toed so Pedro. Three toed. Three toed Pedro. <laughs> and, and the same rapid speed as a toenail, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Carla? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, new generation of content creators. Is there any content creators right now that we like? You watch? That's a good fucking question. Yeah, what do you think really a good question? That was man. actually from Angel from Kickback Crew. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, yeah, dude. Normally get some dumbass fucking questions. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite color if you were a Pokemon? Like, what the fuck what kind of question is that? <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Easy. Dude, um, I always get like, where's Eric? I'm like, I don't know this fucking secretary. The where's fuck? Sleepy like, Brown? Yeah, dude. All like, the, like, if I don't take, I don't sleepy. fucking, I don't do his schedule. I would say the little homies. It's the yeah. Angel. Fern and that. Angels, yeah, they're 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 doing great with their podcast. Kick Make sure you guys crew. check them out. The Kickback Crew, oh, yeah. very very great. You know, awesome uh, young. I e and friends. Uh, I e and friends. Yeah, Shout yeah, out yeah. to you guys, man. Youngins. Andy Canchola's podcast. Andy Canchola yeah, podcast. Man. Andy asks. He's yeah. a very funny guy. He's operating our sound today, so make sure Behind you follow right him. Yeah. Big old fucking Andy Dick. <laughs> big old <laughs> and and Dick. And bro, Andy's dick is so big, bro. It's holding up this microphone yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was molded out Andy's thing, dick man. is so big we're, we're recording this podcast inside of it right yeah, now yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 dude Andy's dick is so big how big is it <laughs> when I put it on my butt it hurts <laughs> <laughs> cheers to Andy's dick <laughs> you cheers put it, to Andy's you put dick it in your cheers <laughs> right, right. cheers to Andy's um, cheers, Andy's bro. dick is so big I think we gotta cheers to it okay. cheers yeah, cheers to Andy's bro. big dick big old dick cheers, bro thanks it's, for helping us bro hey thank hey. Here's to all our jealousy, dog. Yeah. All our, our jealousy. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you guys for stopping by. If you guys are ever cold, you could cut Andy's Canchola dick and you yeah. could sleep in there like a little sleeping bag. Oh, dude, I already do no, it. With, it's like with the foreskin. Use it for, you know? With the foreskin, dude, I already get myself all tucked <laughs> in like a little sleeping bag. A little Andy bag. Put it up and then kiss it. Yeah. <laughs> Pregnant fellow, dude. <laughs> yeah. The deeper you go, the, the, the smellier it gets, but I love yeah, it, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I clean it out for him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lint? Yeah, you use it as So anyways. Anyways. Uh, uh, Eddie's dig is so big, bro, you could ride it. You could ride it like, uh, you know those bananas when you go on vacation on the beach? El platano, uh, you, know, you fucking ride that shit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and then he'll fucking swing it and he'll fucking flip you into the ocean, dude. That was the same one that LeBron and them were on, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man! All right, well, uh, Andy's dick is so big, dude. Yeah, so, yeah, so big. <laughs> we got more. <laughs> With that, that when I when I when I sit on it, dude, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, there's still more, dude. When I who wants? On it? Who else wants to? <laughs> bro, Andy's dick is so big, a uh, motherfucker could shisk about three gay dudes, bro. <laughs> And still got some room. That's it. He still got some room. And his dick is so big, dude, <laughs> that I get on one side and you get on the other side and we yeah. just seesaw it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's still more dick. Dude, there's still more dick. There's still more oh. dick. Dude, and his dick is so big, bro. It hurts my feelings. I want to kiss it. <laughs> I already said that one, but. Yeah, he kisses it and, and then I he just goes. Kind of he goes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Thank you guys so much for watching the podcast. Thank you guys, homies uh, Make sure you uh, subscribe. Um, if you if you if you left by now, then this isn't the podcast yeah. for you. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clearly, you're go still check here. out our tour dates on the bottom, guys. Uh, yeah. We got Andy's a lot dick. of dates. Check out Andy's dick. Our, 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 our next Andy will be there. Andy will be there. Yeah. <laughs> that's big ass dick in the front row and in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll, we'll be doing stand up on his dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Sitting man. next to Andy in his two seats, one for him, <laughs> one for his dick. Right? <laughs> we'll be in the back operating the camera, but that. Dick will still reach. Okay, um, Andy's dick's gonna throw some flowers on stage when we're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're sitting next to Andy, those aren't armrests, those are his balls. Yeah. yeah. Oh. If you're sitting next to Andy, <laughs> enjoy the view, my friends. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And then give it a kiss. Yeah, don't be weird. Kiss it. Yeah, don't be weird. Um, chat, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, of course.
tour. Tour, 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 tours. Uh, buy some chill with the house Yeah, 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 yeah. I got merch there too, man. If you guys want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta get these fools in getting some merch. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Come up with some ideas. Comment some ideas for these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I can't stop thinking about Andy's dick. <laughs> Bro, I'm tell me about it. Let's, let's, go, let's go touch it. 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 Let's go touch it